Hi, this is Brian Fast with EMS One to teach you the big six stretches that you can do to stay injury free on the street while in uniform and on duty. All of these stretches need to be held for a minimum of 60 seconds. Make sure when you're doing these stretches that they don't hurt. They should be just mildly uncomfortable, never causing pain. Of course, don't forget to breathe. That might be important to some of you. Remember to hold the stretches a little bit longer than you think you need to. Stretch number one is going to be the most important stretch you could possibly do. It's for the hip flexor, the muscle in the front of the leg. It is one of the primary causes of injury in EMS. Use what you always have at your disposal, which is your ambulance. What I want you to do, kick the plate up, grab a hold of the grab rail, place the foot back, make sure the foot on the floor is perfectly straight, always have good posture, sink slightly down and back, until you appreciate a stretch in the leg that's behind you, always maintain a good posture. Hold that stretch for 60 seconds. Of course, if you need something to grab onto, do so. Always do things equal bilateral. So go ahead and do the stretch on the opposite side. If you're tall, simply hop out just a little bit. Sink down, do you feel that nice, comfortable stretch in the leg that's behind you? And again, hold for a full 60 seconds. That has to be the most important stretch that you can do to prevent injury. Working concurrently with that would be the opposing muscle group, which is the hamstring. Drop your skid plate down, square your feet up, and what I want you to do, place your foot against the step. I don't want you to put it on top. Put the heel up, we're going to traction the nerve a little bit, and that hurts. Lean against it, always, always have good posture, look straight ahead, pivot forward, keeping that back at a nice straight angle. Make sure the leg that you're stretching is straight, the leg that you're standing on is straight, and hold again for 60 seconds, and repeat that on both sides. The third stretch for the lower body will be for the calves. Simple to do, simply step onto the truck, watch your head, put your foot on the edge of the step plate, and gently let your heel drop down to a stretch is felt in the back of the calf. Again, always maintaining good posture and hold for 60 seconds, repeating on both sides. The next stretch we're gonna do is gonna be for your chest. Always a big area of injury for the upper body due to the fact that we're sedentary and seated, leaning forwards for long periods of time. Grab onto the pull rail, square your body up. Your hand should roughly be in line with your chest and shoulder. Slowly turn your body away. Look up and away. Stretch is gonna be felt through the chest and the arm. Hold for a full 60 seconds while breathing. And again, repeat on both sides. Next stretch we're going to do is going to be for the lats and the shoulders. This is a wonderful stretch after you've been sitting for long periods of time. Your spine's been compressed, your shoulders are sore, you're tight. Easy, easy to do. Grab onto the grab rail. You can even grab on the pull rail of the cot. Make sure it's secured, of course. Grab a hold. Bend your knees slightly. Make sure your feet are ever so slightly ahead of your knees. You're pulling traction. And simply drop back. Think about your spine as an accordion. Just lengthen back till you feel a wonderful stretch through the upper back, the shoulders, the mid-back. If you let your knees drop back a little bit, you can actually feel it in your calf and hamstrings. Again, hold for a full 60 seconds. And the final stretch we're going to do of the big six is for the neck. Simply put a hand behind your back always stand in good neutral spine position. Place your hand on top of your head, give yourself a good fixation point in the distance, and gently pull your head to the side. Again, holding for a full 60 seconds. I'll caution you on this stretch. Don't pull your body to the side. Some of you have very, very tight upper neck muscles. So make sure when you do the stretch that you're not pulling your torso. Make sure that you're only moving your cervical spine. Hold for a full 60 seconds. The key to these stretches, folks, is pretty simple. Do them sporadically throughout the day, all day long, whenever you can. You spend a lot of time at the back of the truck. So I challenge you, when you check the truck off in the morning, then check your body off. Spend six minutes doing the big six stretches. Stretch sporadically throughout the day at the hospital. It's not a big deal to stand there and talk to your buddy and do a chest stretch. Good luck, be fit, stay safe, this has been Brian Fass for EMS One.